All right, are you missing your shelf button for Gozi? Are you? Are you now? And you want that back, don't you? How much is it going to cost? So in here, uh, let's go script editor. Let's load script. And that script is located here. Users shared pixel logic Gozi apps Maya. Okay. So that is located here. Users shared Go Z brush Go Z apps Pixel Logic. Okay, there's shelf. Let's launch that. See what happens. Squat. So let's load the script. And there's this go Z from Maya Mel. Let's play that. Okay, that's the one we need. So I'm going to reload it. And then we're going to select all. Save script to shelf. There we go. I got a go Z. So let's test this out. Got this part. I want to hit go Z. Da 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 da. da. Okay. My whole issue was to fix the symmetrical problem here of it being non-symmetrical. So in here, I'm just going to do that and show you that that's possible also while I'm here. So I switched it to a negative, putting it on my positive X side. This is my good side. This is my bad side. And then I'm going to freeze transformations, applying that change so there's no negative number there. And then I'm going to go into mirror cut square box and choose the plane at which I want to cut. So that's Y and Z. Y, Z. Okay, there we go. Then I'm going to take this and I'm going to duplicate it and move it just a skosh. So I can grab the other one and delete it. Delete this one and then translate it back to zero. Okay, and that's how you fix symmetrical problems in the year 2010. Okay, now let's see if our fancy button works though. It worked in a way. It worked in a way. It totally uh, flipped all the normals, but other than that, I think that was just some other thing. So let's flip those back, and voila. Sure enough, it did fix the symmetry, and now you got a button back there for GoZ, and enjoy. On to the next video.